Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, to my dear respected uh, brothers or sisters, uh, I would like to uh, wish you guys um, best of health and iman. Um, now, this video is going to be talking about um, this book, and this is the pre-intermediate level okay and remember this is the special edition which is commonly available in the uh, middle east or arab speaking countries okay and also um, we're going to be looking at unit number five okay number five okay so this is the new unit that i'm going to be covering uh, videos on okay so hopefully uh, you are all ready to go with me so first thing first let me switch over uh, to my main uh, screen take it to you guys here so hopefully you guys can see uh, the main uh, page and you can you can see straight away that this is unit number five good all right so first thing first let us read the question okay the question is what do you want to do again what do you want to do okay so what do you want to do it's a good question you know so let's look at the subjects what are we going to study okay so the first thing here is verb patterns and this is number one so this is maybe the first uh, example so verb patterns so verb and patterns now the idea is quite simple is that um, when we have two verbs you know how can we add them together or can't we right or you know can we combine this verb and this verb together to make a sentence Okay, that's the idea. Next thing uh, we're going to be talking about is future, future, okay, looking ahead, future. So the future, probably, we will be talking about uh, verbs like going to or will, okay. So these two uh, are future uh, forms and we can use that to talk about the future, okay. And uh, the next thing, hot verbs, um, hot verbs, I'm not quite sure, maybe they're talking about special verbs, you know, common verbs, but uh, we can find out uh, about that together later on, on this chapter, okay? And the last section is uh, a question again, and the question says, how do you feel, okay? so. When you have someone asking about you, okay, they may ask, how do you feel? So maybe this is a, a question about your health, about your mood, you know. So uh, it's something that we will uh, look into together. All right, first thing first, guys. So as a warm-up exercise to get us, you know, started, let's look at the, the first example. Now, here it says, complete these sentences with ideas about you. Okay, ideas about you. All right, so, so we have about five uh, sentences that we can write. Okay, so we will, what I will do is... I'm going to use my Word document to write sentences about me, okay? And you can try uh, yourself as well on your own. So the first one here, it says, one day I want to, okay? I want to, all right, so let me write this here. Okay, so one day I want to, Maybe let's say one, two, uh, let me finish the sentence. One day I want to be, to be, to, uh, one day I want to have, yeah, here we go, have a successful, okay, um, successful YouTube, oops, 
is YouTube with a capital T, YouTube channel. There you go. This is something interesting, something that I hope for. So one day, and here we have the subject. Remember, guys, I like my colors. Uh, and my colors are subject is blue. Okay. Uh, verb. Okay. Is green. And here, if you notice, there are, there is another another verb have to have want to um, a successful uh, YouTube channel. Okay, I want to have a successful YouTube channel. Okay, so that's my sentence there. Next one. Um, right now, I'd like. So this is I'd. This is a contraction. Okay, so if I open it, it should say. Right now, I would like, okay? So here, I'm gonna write, uh, right now, uh, let's write, let me check. I'd like, or I would like, which means, let me just write down, which means uh, would, okay? Right now, I'd like, what do I like? I would like to, um, what do I like to do right now? Maybe uh, I'd like to <laughs> buy, buy, uh, buy some furniture. Okay, so furniture, things, right? Furniture. So here again, um, here guys, we have the subject I, okay, it's blue. And then here we have the uh, modal verb, this is would, this is a, a you know, helping verb, okay? Here we're gonna have, we're gonna put it as yellow because it's a helping verb. And then like is the main verb, okay? And then we have another verb to buy another main verb you see that guys so like before we have two main verbs next to each other and here we have like and to buy and would is the helping verb remember guys okay all right good good excellent next next one um i enjoy something playing because so I, something because i like so let's write this as well i enjoy maybe let's say i enjoy Okay, and maybe I'm going to write, I enjoy uh, watching, I enjoy watching um, documentaries, right? That's a good. Okay, I enjoy watching documentaries because, because why? Because um, I like it. Okay, I like them. I like them, actually, because remember, I'm talking about documentaries with an s here okay and them is the object of uh, documentaries all right so let's highlight the subject and verbs again so here we have subject here we have the first main verb okay and we have another main verb here as well although this one uh, is has a different name but I'm going to come back to it later we can explain that okay and then here we have also another sentence here we have I which is a, a subject and like which is a verb okay so here we have I enjoy watching documentaries uh, because I like them okay and them referring to documentaries all right guys good let's continue I can something but I can't something so this is talking probably about ability something that i know i am able to do or something i know that i not able to do okay so for example i can i can ride a bike okay i can ride a bike right but right but i can't uh ride a let's say a motor bike yeah a motorbike this is this is the you know this is uh, much more serious yeah much more dangerous but uh, fun i'm sure so so what can i do i can ride um uh, a bike like a normal bike let me change bike to a bicycle i think that makes better a bicycle so i could ride a bicycle but I can't, I can't ride a motorbike, okay? So let's highlight the subject again quickly. This is, oops, sorry, this is blue, not green. Okay, let me just uh, go back a little bit, highlight that again, make that blue. 
and also there's another subject here, I. So here we can use can, which is a helping verb, not the main verb, this is a helping verb, okay? And the main verb is ride, all right? So actually, let me have to write that, I'll highlight this as well as yellow. And here we have ride, which is green. And again, we have ride, okay? So that's the main verb. And the yellow, remember, if it's a helping verb, you can always get rid of it, okay? All right? And the sentence is still correct. It still makes sense. All right, good. I think we have one more. Tonight, I'm going to. Okay, what am I going to do tonight? So tonight, tonight, okay, I am going. So this is I am. This is the contraction. I am. I'm going. So let me just put it in brackets again. This is math. I am. I'm going to what? Let's say. Maybe tonight, I, I, I'm gonna go. I'm going to, uh, to a desert, a desert, uh, party. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm going to a desert party. Yeah, that sounds fun. Right. So tonight, I'm gonna highlight again the subject. Okay, and the subject is, um, I. Okay, and then we have. Am, which is the main, uh, which is the helping verb. This is the helping verb. And then we have going, okay? Then we have going to, okay? Let me just highlight that. Sorry, my screen is somehow frozen. Don't know why. I can continue writing. Okay. Wow. So sorry, guys. I'm not sure what's happened here. Can I move my no response whatsoever? Can I switch screen. Can I go back. Ooh, nothing there at all. Okay, that's really frustrating. Um, can I press that? No, can't do that either. Right, my screen is frozen. How wonderful. Right, so uh, whilst you guys can hear me, and hopefully I have functionality soon, hopefully on my laptop, hopefully the recording is still going on. So if you still see the screen, um, remember the first one, it says one day I want to have a successful YouTube channel. Okay, so if you notice the two main, we have two verbs together, want and um, and have. So I want to have. Okay, we have the infinitive there, and then the second one says right now, I'd I'd would uh, or I would or I'd like. Okay, I'd like to buy some furniture. Okay, I like to buy some furniture. Let's see if I could. Can I escape this? Right, I can't escape this. I don't know why. My even my keyboard is unresponsive. Unresponsive. Oh, okay. I think we might have life now. Oh yes, yes, yes. I think we have life. Oh. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's working again. So I'm so sorry, guys. So yeah, let's go back to the last sentence here. Now here it says tonight. Um, I am, which is the helping verb, and then we have going, okay? And going is the main verb, going to, okay? Oh, sorry about that. My screen has slightly gone off because I was trying to um, uh, get out of the situation. Let me just cancel it. All right, here we go, back. So going to... Okay, we, we, we take it, we're going to take it together as a, as a pair together. Okay, um, it's the main verb. Okay, so am is the helping verb and going to is the main verb. And where are we going to? A desert party. Okay, so just keep an, just keep memory of these combinations. So here we have want and a verb want and then to have. Here we have would helping verb and then like to buy here we have enjoy watching this one has an ing so let me just 
highlight that as red, or even this one. Actually, let me just remove the spotlight. It can be a little bit annoying. All right, yeah, so here we have um, the G as well. I'm going to highlight that. So here we have a verb with ing, okay? And the yellow ones, of course, remember, guys, the yellow ones are helping verbs, okay? Helping verbs, right? If you don't want them, they can go. They can go. All right, good. Now, uh, let's look, let's continue. Here we have a different exercise. Here we have, uh, says, hopes and ambitions okay let me just highlight that so here we have hopes and ambitions things that you wish for in the future right guys wish for so here we have some pictures of people here we have a young boy a young boy his name is uh, sad and he's nine years he's nine years old here we have kamal and he's 29 years old and if we go down here we have Adrian, and he is 39 years old. Here we have Anna, and she is 49 years old. I think we also have a couple of more pictures. If we go to the next page, there you are. Now, here we have Rim, and she is 19 years old. And finally, we have Mona, and she is 59 years old, mashallah, she, she's much older, so she's the oldest, okay, so Mona is the oldest, and who is the youngest, the youngest is, uh, it's going to be this young boy, it's going to be, um, there we go, sad, okay, it's going to be sad, tamam, good, so, what do we have to do? First thing first, thing first um, let's try to match these ambitions and hopes with someone with the picture. So we're going to take a guess first. We're going to guess and then we're going to check the answers together. Okay, guys. So here, the first one, uh, it says, uh, let me just make it a little bit uh, bigger. Okay, the first one says, I'd like, remember this is, means I would. So here we have, I would like to become a TV news presenter. Okay, somebody wants to become a presenter. Okay, somebody maybe he wants to work in the news. So right now, it could be, maybe it's Kamal, he wants to be a presenter, okay? Um, it could be, I mean, I'm looking for young people, not older people, okay? And, or it could be um, a student like, uh, like Rim, Rim, she's 19. So maybe Kamal or Rim uh, would like to be TV presenters, okay? But I'll take a guess, and I think it's probably going to be Kamal, okay? So I'm going to write the letter uh, C, okay? The next one, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to be an astronaut and fly to mars wow this is a big big dream so if it's a big dream it's maybe a child's dream as well actually like this young man and this is sad so i think this one um the the hopes and an ambition for this second one is sad so it's going to be a okay the next one i'm looking forward to Okay, it's a different line. I'm looking forward to playing with my grandchildren. Grandchildren. So, so we're talking about a grandmother or a grandfather. And this person probably going to be the oldest as well, right? So if you remember, guys, the oldest person was, was Mona. And she is 59 years old. So this is picture, uh, picture or letter number F. Okay, so here I'm going to write F for this answer. Number four, I would love, I would love to take a year off work and travel. Hmm, who would like to take a year off work and travel? Maybe, maybe... Uh, 
maybe Anna, maybe Adrian. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So we let's take a let's take a guess. Let's take let's say Adrian, maybe Adrian. Okay, so Adrian, he is a uh, picture D. Okay, I'll put D here. And then we have number five. I hope to find a job as a children's doctor. I hope to find a job as a children's doctor. So maybe, um, maybe, maybe not this person because she's already, she's 49. So she probably has a job. It could be the student. Remember the student guys, the student Rim. Okay. She is 19. So she's quite young and maybe in university right university so maybe she wants to become uh, a doctor after she finishes university so let's let's choose her so she's a uh, picture b okay picture b let's go back i'm going to put b here and then finally finally uh number six we're thinking of moving okay moving where because the children will be leaving home soon. Hmm. We're thinking of moving because the children will be leaving home soon. So the last person I didn't choose was this person. This is Anna. And she is 49 years old. Okay. And picture E. Okay, good. So let's put a picture E here. So before we listen to the answers, let's see if uh, I'm correct. Maybe there's a mistake. Okay, let's check. Uh, let's check the answers. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> I'm all perfect answers. Excellent. So I had a very good, good guess. Now, let's listen to the audio together. Okay, and listen about um, those people. Okay, about about uh, Sad, age nine, Kamal, uh, aged twenty nine, Adrian, aged thirty nine, Anna, aged forty nine. Okay, and then also don't forget about uh, Rim, uh, aged nineteen, and finally Mona, she's aged fifty nine. Okay, good. So let's listen to the audio together. Okay. Unit 5 5.1 5 Saad When I grow up, I want to be a footballer and play for Manchester United because football is the best sport in the world. After that, I'm going to become an astronaut and be the first Omani astronaut to fly to Mars and Jupiter. And I'd like all the people in the world to be happy. RIM I finished the first year of my medical degree at Bristol University. And now I'm going to have a month off because it's the university holidays. I'm not going to relax though. I'm going to study because my course is quite hard and I want to do well. When I finish, I hope to find a job as a children's doctor. I really want to help sick children get better. Kamal What I'd really like to do, because I'm interested in TV and everything to do with TV, is to become a TV news presenter. I'm getting married next June, so I can't do anything about it yet, but I'm going to start applying for jobs this time next year. Adrian my great passion is traveling. I've already visited around 20 different countries. But my secret ambition, and this would be the best thing in my life, I would love to take a year off work and travel around the world on a motorbike. I really want to see how different people live their lives. Anna We're thinking of moving because the children are leaving home soon. Our daughter, Kate, is getting married in November, and our son's doing his A-levels this year, so he'll be off to university next year. 
Jack and I both enjoy walking, and Jack likes fishing. You can't do that in the city, so we're going to move to the country. Muna. Well, I broke my arm two weeks ago, so what I really want to do is get fit again as soon as possible, so I can do all the things I enjoy doing. I'm looking forward to playing with my grandchildren again. I was an English teacher for many years, and I'm going to start teaching them English. It will help them when they start school. Right. Okay, that was good. So now we've listened to、uh, the story, the the hopes, the hopes, and ambitions of all of these people. Okay. So, for example, Sad. Uh, he said, "I'd like to become a TV news presenter." Sorry, not sad. Sorry about that. I mean, Kamal, Kamal, number one. Number two, I'm going to be an astronaut and fly to Mars. So that is by Sad. Number three, I'm looking forward to playing with my grandchildren again, and this is by、um, Mona here. Okay, and then the next one. Uh, number four, I would like, I would love to take a year off work and travel. So that would be this guy, Adrian, thirty-nine. Okay. The next one says, I hope to find a job as a children's doctor, and this one is by Rim. That's her here. Okay. And the last one is six. We're thinking of moving because the children will be leaving home soon, and this is Anna. Okay, good. So this is just to give you a flavor of unit number five. Remember to look at this sentence again and look at the verbs that I highlighted. Because here, here the idea is、uh, the idea is. Is to know about verb patterns. What verbs that can come together? So here we have here we have、um, here we have want and to have together. Here we have like and to.